Now to Japan, where scientists have taken a small but important step that raises the prospect of same-sex couples producing biological children together. The technology has used skin cells from male mice to make female egg cells, potentially opening up new possibilities in reproductive medicine. An egg, sperm and time. The recipe for new life in most animals is simple and straightforward. But now, a team of Japanese scientists claims to have pushed the boundaries of that paradigm by creating mouse babies with two biological fathers. To do so, the team took skin cells from male mice and reprogrammed them into what are called stem cells. Those are cells that can turn into many different cell types. The scientists then identified the ones that had accidentally lost their Y chromosome and managed to duplicate the X chromosome. In other words, they changed the genetic sex of the cells, a complex technique, experts say. The limit of male cells is you can make sperm but not eggs. Typically, the limit of female cells is you can make eggs but not sperm. What Hayashi has done through a process called sex conversion, he's taken XY skin cells and then selected way to make XX eggs. So an extraordinary uh, act of, of wizardry, biological wizardry. Those egg cells were then fertilized with sperm cells and implanted into a surrogate mouse. The result, healthy mouse pups from two biological fathers that were later able to reproduce themselves. The technology is promising, but still highly experimental. The efficiency of this process is very, very low. So even in mice where you're essentially able to do an unlimited number of fertilizations, um, the probability that any one of your in vitro generated eggs or sperm under these sex conversion conditions is, is probably only around 1%. So obviously, there's a lot of failure here. Despite that, Katsuhiko Hayashi's research raises the prospect of male couples one day having biological children together. It could also benefit infertile women who can't produce their own eggs. And at least theoretically, it could even allow single men to have children with themselves. Yet, scientists agree that the technique is still years from any kind of application in humans. Differences in genetics and reproductive biology between us and mice are major. And of course, society will first need to address ethical questions arising from this technology. We now have the chance to talk to the head of the research team that carried out the study, Katsushiko Hayashi. Hello, Professor Hayashi. Thank you very much for taking the time to talk with us. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Fellow scientists are calling your work nothing less than astounding and even biological wizardry. So how did you come up with the idea in the first place? What made you start doing this kind of research? I was not really keen to make the, uh, the, the pups from two dots. <laughs> this is kind of consequence. But what, what I was very excited with this is that the, the, uh, indeed we could change actually the, the chromosome, sex chromosome set in culture. That is really, really exciting because we can get the female cells from male cells or from uh, XO cells. So uh, that is the most exciting uh, stuff. Can you explain to us what you did exactly? We use the iPS cells. So induced pluripotent stem cells? <laughs> yes, in mouse. The iPS cells uh, originate from male. Then we change the, the sex chromosome set into the XX cells, which is basically female cells. Mm -hmm. Then we induce the oocyte. We get the, the sperm from other uh, male mice. Then we fertilize them in culture. So basically, in this, in this experiment, we can get the mice that are derived from two fathers. So I can imagine it's not always that easy in research. So which major roadblocks did you hit along the way? 
especially what is difficult was the and um, we need actually two x chromosomes so so far we we could get the the cells with only one x chromosome but it was difficult to uh, duplicate them mm -hmm. so that is the most uh, important trick of this technology only around one percent of the embryos made and transferred in your study survived are you satisfied with that success rate? Oh, no, no, satisfied. Uh, no, no, the success rate is significantly low. So we really need to improve uh, such uh, efficiency. The one point, one, around 1% 1 percent, percent is uh, much lower than the oocyte in vivo. So mm -hmm. we really need to define the culture condition so that uh, we can get more like a quality oocytes in culture. I think what fascinates uh, scientists and non-professional alike, or what scares also maybe some of them, is the yeah, potential. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is this potential idea of transfer? I'm also scared. You're scared? <laughs> Why? No, no, no. People uh, expect too much. For example, because uh, indeed, in, by this technology, we can make the uh, the pups from uh, two fathers, but of course, it's far, it's far, far away from the um, uh, application to the human. Or do you think it will ever be possible to transfer? Uh, I think it's possible in future. I don't know how much does it take, but uh, uh, because the, the basically the technology developed in the mouse can be applied to the, the human. So um, although it, it will take a long time, but, uh, let's say like uh, 10 years, you will see something like oocyte cells. Human oocytes. Human oocytes, something like. But of course, uh, we don't know whether those are really good to uh, quality good enough to test fertilization or uh, something like that. What future medical applications do you see based on your research? I, I know that, that there are many people actually suffering from the, the infertility due to uh, abnormality of the sex chromosome. For example, uh, only one X chromosome or X Y. So we, what we are trying to do is to change the such uh, the chromosome, uh, chromosome chromosome set of the, the sex chromosome, then uh, try to induce the induce the oocyte. Many people might think that creating life from two mates or even just one person is scary. So, which ethical boundaries do you see for your work? Okay, making the, the pups from two that this can never happen in natural, in nature, right? So, uh, even if you have uh, such a technology, uh, I don't know, we really need to discuss uh, very carefully about whether this kind of technology should be used for something that doesn't happen in nature. Mm, our uh, work should be um, done in uh, making the um, making technology more efficient, efficient and more safety. Then, uh, if the uh, the all side uh, are good enough to um, to use, so for those purpose, then we how can I say ask all the people to see whether those uh, all side can should be used or not. That is the our work scientist work. What are the next steps you're working on? Okay, of course we need to um, uh, improve the, the efficiency of this technology as well as uh, we try. We need to try to apply this technology to the other animals. So we are now uh, doing with the, the animal conservation with German group. Mm -hmm. So we are uh, we uh, are working with the rhinoceros. Mm -hmm. So especially northern white rhinoceros is only two animal left in this world, mm -hmm. then uh, with the, the German group, uh, we are trying to make the oocyte from the IPS cells of the, uh, those, uh, those animals. Dear Professor Hayashi, thank you very much for the interview. Thank you very much. Thank you.